Devil's Food Cake is a light, moist, dark, intense chocolate cake. By using a box cake mix to make a chocolate cake with cream cheese frosting, my Devil's Food Cake is a perfect chocolate cake for birthdays, holidays, or even just because. If you want my recipe for Devil's Food Chocolate Cake, keep watching. So in my bowl, I already have my white cake mix and my instant chocolate pudding. In this case, instant chocolate fudge pudding. To this, I'm going to add one third cup of cocoa powder, one cup of buttermilk, one quarter cup of water with one teaspoon of instant coffee, one teaspoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of white vinegar, three eggs, two teaspoons of blackstrap molasses, and an extra quarter cup of water, and quarter cup of oil, and blend for two to three minutes. I actually had to make this cake twice because the first time I totally forgot to add the oil. The no oil version actually turned out okay, but I'll get to that later on in the video. Then bake in a 325 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. For a written version of this and other recipes, be sure to visit my website parnaldechef.com. I then frosted the cake with my no butter cream cheese frosting recipe. Once the video is up, I will put a link in the description box. This was the best devil's food cake ever. It was light and fluffy, really moist, very chocolatey, and dark in color. Everything that a devil's food chocolate cake should be. It's incredible to think that by doctoring a cake mix, you can make a chocolate cake that's so good. The buttermilk reacts with the baking powder to make the cake light and fluffy, and the coffee, a common ingredient in devil's food cake recipes, accentuates the chocolate flavor. However, I think that my idea to add molasses to the cake mix is what really puts this devil's food cake recipe over the top. Since brown sugar is just white sugar with molasses added to it, and considering the fact that a lot of chocolate chip cookie recipes call for brown sugar, I don't know why brown sugar or molasses isn't a more common ingredient in chocolate cake recipes. Although most devil's food cake recipes call for chocolate frosting, in this case, I think that cream cheese works because not only is my no butter cream cheese frosting recipe lower in calories, but the Argentine chef in me says that sometimes more isn't necessarily better. In my opinion, cream cheese frosting is the perfect addition to chocolate cake. Also, as I said earlier in the video, I accidentally made two versions of this chocolate cake. One with a quarter cup of oil and one with no oil at all. Although at first I thought that I could tell that the no oil chocolate cake was a bit inferior in terms of taste, after having both cakes and looking back on it, honestly I don't think they were really that different in terms of taste. The only difference was that the no oil chocolate cake dried out where it was cut a lot faster. A quarter cup of oil is already a lot less than most chocolate cake recipes have, but if you want to make the cake even lower in calories, I think you could get away with two tablespoons. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, for a written version of this and other recipes, be sure to visit my website parnaldechef.com. And don't forget to follow me on social media. If you make this or any of my other recipes, be sure to let me know. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.